Hello, young students. I am Angela with you, and I will be your instructor today with the Two Minute English's very first lesson. So the countdown starts now. Let's dive into the pillar of English grammar, parts of speech. Do you know what parts of speech are? Correct! The phrase itself is the answer. Parts of speech refer to words that are used in a sentence. For example, in the sentence, I am Angela. There are three words, and all of them are different parts of speech. So the word I is a part of speech. Can you guess which part of speech is this? Wonderful. The word I is a pronoun. Here are some other pronouns that we use in English. We, you, he, she, they, it, who, etc. Remember, unlike all the other pronouns, I always remains capitalized wherever you put it in a sentence. Hmm, how interesting it is. Let's move to the next word, am. Do you know which part of speech is this? Amazing! You are already a very talented student. The word am is a verb because it comes after the subject, I. Isn't it obvious that a verb generally comes after a subject? Yes, it is. Let's have a look at some other similar verbs. Is, are, was, were, have, has, etc. Now comes the last one. Angela. Yes, it's my name. So you already solved it, right? Every name is a noun in terms of parts of speech. Can you mention some other nouns? Exactly. Whatever you see around and think of has a name. For example, computer, study, book, pen, English, even the word noun itself is a noun. Wait, you have got a bonus in this lesson. In English, a sentence always starts with a subject, then a verb, and then other parts such as complement, adjunct, or object. Ooh, tough words they are. Don't worry, we will go through all the lessons to cover the unknown and unseen. So, now that you have completed watching the lesson, let's do some practice.